Hey everyone, I'm Sam Patel, owner and operator of Friendly Discount Beverage in Portland, Maine, and the host for Inside the Bottle TV. Follow my good friend John and I on our journey to solve the mysteries of what's inside the bottle in thousands of unique wines and beers from around the world. I'll handle the fine wine, John will handle the craft beer, so let's grind and get inside the bottle. Hey everyone, welcome to Inside the Bottle TV. Uh, my name is Sam Patel, I am your host and also the manager at Friendly Discount Beverage in Portland, Maine, uh, in a random place around the US, and that's where we're filming from as well. This show is going to be something unique, something that we have to offer you guys that uh, all drink wine, fine beer, craft beer, uh, are in that particular world. Um, Anyways, this is our first episode. I'm here with my team today. Kyle, Jack, Jimmy, we're all hanging out and uh, filming the show. It's quite the setup if you actually were able to see all around me. And uh, it's, it's pretty intense, but, but fun nonetheless. And today's episode, we're going to focus on three different wines. Uh, one from France, a couple from California, Red Blends, Cabernet, Sauvignon Blanc, uh, unique, unique wines. So. Before I get any further and rant and rave about other things, which will come in future episodes, let's get inside the bottle. So the first bottle here is Privilege de Drouet. It's a 2014 Sauvignon Blanc from the Loire Valley. This is interesting because typically uh, you find Sanciers that come out of the Loire Valley. So this is really unique. Um, it's one of my favorite wines, one of my favorite Sauvignon Blancs. I'm not a huge wine drinker. I drink a lot of bold red wine, Cabernets, Cabernet Franc, uh, you know, different, uh, different red Italians. Um, so this is, this is a unique wine. That's why I chose this one, because it's one that many of you may not have had. You may have had an expensive Sancerre. They're typically quite pricey. This particular bottle in our store is $10.99, which is a steal. I mean, after I brought it in, it, we have sold so many cases of it. It's been unreal. Uh, so let's get into it. Just has a punch of freshness to it, citrus, uh, melon. It is uh, you can you can you can. It just comes straight onto the nose. It's it's a beautiful scent. Just elegant minerality on the palate. Uh, I'm getting a lot of citrus notes on the back palate, the front. Uh, it, very balanced, very, very forward. Um, this wine is uh, just one of a kind and it's a product of France. I mean, you find all of these high-end champagnes, all of these burgundies come out of France. I mean, how often do you find a Sauvignon Blanc that comes out of France, especially the Loire Valley? Uh, it's, it's just really, really elegant, uh, you know, I'm, I'm getting a lot of, I'm, it's still lingering on my palate. It's, it just has a really well-balanced feel, a structure to it. Um, the minerality, you know, it, it's briny, it's nice. Uh, for the price, it's beautiful, you guys have to check it out. I gotta take a sip of it. On to the next one. Aviary. This one again is unique. Uh, this particular wine is a Cabernet Sauvignon 2013 Napa Valley. Um, it's bold. I like bold. I like structured wines. Uh, my palate has evolved. Um, you know, I'm not the one to be the most knowledgeable on wine. That's why this show has been created because it gives me the chance to learn as much as you know. I, you guys are maybe figuring things out, and uh, you know, by no means is this going to be a sommelier snobby or um, 
you know, a show based on information that, you know, the jargon cannot even be understood. It's, uh, it, it's going to be something different, something that will help all of us learn along this journey. But nonetheless, uh, Aviary is really nice. It, um, again, is a 2013 vintage. This particular wine goes for roughly $17 to $22 on the shelf. We sell it for $17.99. It's been a great price. It's been a great mover for us. Let's get into this bottle. And you can just see the color that comes out of it. Oh, let's drop it here. Let's get it on the camera. Nice ruby red color to it. Um, it has some great legs on it. I think this camera will be able to pick it up here. Thanks, Jack. Plummy is what I get. Dark fruit, rich. It's a uh, Real spicy, it, it has this dried fruit on the front palate, uh, well balanced. This wine is definitely worth the price. Um, you know, typically when I go out and I buy Cabernets, it is, uh, it's, it's a value driven, uh, you know, it's a value driven buy for me. That's, that's the way that I would particularly buy. And this wine at $17.99, it is delicious. I mean, oh my God, the color on this thing is, it's really nice. Almost inky. Again, have to take a sip of that. On to our third bottle of wine, Ferrari Carano Siena 2012 red blend. Uh, this one has a lot of press. It was, um, from what I remember, I think it was also featured on uh, Robert Parker. I can't remember the exact, uh, the exact rating that it received, but I do remember that it was a nice rating. It was one that probably helped the wine sell or bring out, you know, the, uh, the powerful nature behind the wine into the public uh, stream. Anyways, 2012, let's try. And it's a screw top, which is unique. Uh, I get this a lot uh, from a lot of clients that come in and they will ask, why is it a screw top? Why isn't it cork? Why, um, why are more bottles uh, having a screw top? you know, or coming with a screw top. Well, it doesn't have to do with the wine itself. It, you know, the cork tree is going extinct. I think a lot of us know this. Um, so a lot of vintners uh, in their manufacturing process, I suppose you could say, are putting screw tops on. One, it's more efficient, it's effective, it's probably cost effective for them as well. Uh, and it keeps the wine fresh. It doesn't, you know, turn the wine bad faster or, you know, it doesn't particularly obstruct the wine itself. It's a, uh, it's something unique. It's something that we all need to learn to transition with. And uh, you know, that's that's kind of my direction for that. Again, really nice inky. I mean, this wine. I guess I should probably put it here again. Light black pepper on the nose. Dark fruit, rich. I'm getting this uh, cedar redwood on the nose. It, it, it really smells nice. Spicy. It's just it, this is the type of red blend that 
is is one that almost is as bold as a Cabernet, but it's structured so nice. It has such a uh, such a nice body to it. I'm getting a really, you know, a really dried fruit taste on the, on the tip of my tongue right now. Again, this wine is $17.99 on our shelves. You may find it for you know, a dollar less or a few dollars more. Uh, it depends on where you guys are at. Definitely stop into your local place, check it out. It's worth the price. It's an awesome red blend. Ferrari Corrado dropped some of the finest liquids out there um, from everything that I've had. You know, wine is very subjective. Everyone's palate is different. I understand this. Um, and as we go through the show and as you guys come and follow us around the world with these different wines, you guys will also start to understand that it is very subjective. Your palate changes, you know, everything, your senses change. It becomes, uh, it becomes an art and I'm starting to feel that same, uh, you know, passion behind uh, trying different wines. It's, it's very unique, it's educational, it's fun. It's, it's your own art and I think that's really cool. Uh, so anyways, you guys have tried some of these wines with me, learned a little bit about them. Um, Come check us out on Facebook, on Instagram, on all of our social media outlets. We'll be posting things from behind the scenes. I wish you guys could see what I'm looking at right now. It's a little more uh, you know, different than the typical average day that I face, but uh, I work with a great team. I think the show is gonna turn out to be awesome. We plan on doing four episodes a month. Uh, that will be tentative, but I think that's what you know, we'll be on pace to do that. Some will be wine, some will be about beer. Uh, it's going to be unique. So thanks for being inside the bottle with us. Thank you.